Hey guys, one of the questions or attacks that we see often on the biblical reliability or the reliability of the Gospels, is another way to say that, is that the Gospels, meaning the four accounts of Jesus' life, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, were all written so late after the events of Jesus that they can't be reliable. That the oral tradition had been corrupted, that after the oral tradition was written down in fragments and finally compiled in some kind of a book form, that we're now looking at the 4th century and we can't trust the Gospels. This argument just doesn't align with anything in history or anything with the logical credibility. Let me give you just five facts to help you defend the time frame that the Gospels were written in. And I'm going to do that by using simply the book of Luke. I want to do it this way. Number one, in A.D. 70, Jerusalem is destroyed. Now, Luke doesn't have this event in his gospel. That would be like writing a documentary on the Kennedy presidency, but not including the assassination. At the end of the book of Luke, Paul is still alive. We know that Paul is killed in A.D. 65. Number two. The Jewish war in Rome, which excuse me, the Jewish war with Rome, which takes place in AD 66, is not mentioned. The Jewish disturbance, which takes place in AD 64, before the war breaks out, is not mentioned. Again, we talked about Paul's death, which is in 65, is not mentioned. He's still alive. And finally, James, the brother of Jesus, whose death Josephus, the Jewish historian, records in AD 62, is not mentioned. Although all other major martyrdoms are mentioned in the Gospel of Luke. Now that's just in the book of Acts. Now here's what I want you to hear. That means that the book of Acts, which is the second volume of Luke's two-volume set, has to be written by 60. 2 A.D. at the latest. That means that the Gospel of Luke can rest assured that it was written by at least 61 A.D., probably backing that up actually into the late 50s or even early 50s. Now, let's stay conservative just for those who want to argue the case and say, okay, Luke was written in the late 50s. Well, here's the challenge then for others who want to say the Gospels were written later. Matthew and Mark were both written before Luke. In fact, Luke says, I went and researched the eyewitness accounts. I took all the other writings. I looked at them. But almost all scholars say Matthew and Mark were written before Luke. Now, if Luke's in the late 50s and Matthew and Mark are before Luke and Luke has those in his hand, now you have to actually go to like at least the mid 50s, maybe even early 50s. Some scholars even posit that the Gospel of Mark could have been written as late as the late 30s, early 40s. Now, all this is simply to say that the argument that we can't trust the Gospel because of the corruption or because myth has expanded over time or because there's too much of a time lapse between the events of Jesus and the recording of the events is not a logical argument. The case has been settled. In fact, nobody really makes this argument if they've studied the transmission of Scripture over time. So I wanted to give you the evidence that you can use to defend the timeline of the recording of Scripture and to put somewhere for your faith to have another anchor point and go, we can trust that the Gospel authors, who many were eyewitnesses, or at least talk to eyewitnesses as Luke said he did, were writing down historical accounts of what the actual eyewitnesses of Jesus saw. I hope this helps you think critically about important things and care for what Jesus loves. Have a great day, guys.